Hey, I'm Gil from Gil Crafts and Graphics, and today what I'm doing is a gift for two friends. Basically, they were students we hosted from China, and one of them just finished um, and graduated from Berkeley, and he's getting ready to go back to China, and the other one's out here living as a scientist, doing all kinds of fun stuff up there north from us in California. So, um, what I was doing is tests on, because I'm doing... I'm gonna do some engraving for them. So what I've been doing is, and if I'll just take this down just a little bit, you could probably see a series of um, tests that I've done on the images. Basically what I'm doing is I'm experimenting with the dots and whatnot. So what I did before I do anything else, I got a piece of material. So I'm sure you could see this here. And there goes my light. So, ah, there we go. So, as you can see, now obviously I started with a smaller image and found kind of like a happy medium. And then I went and got the original to the original size it's supposed to be. Tried the same. Now, what I did over here, it seems a little bit lighter, but um, I'll probably have to put the temperature back up because I lost a lot of the detail and here it's too much. So it's kind of like having something in between here. So what'll happen after this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and place that material here and I'll have the larger image and I'll show you where that'll be in a few moments. Anyway, thanks. Okay, after much, okay. <laughs> after much testing, what I'm doing is, as I mentioned before, that gift, I always get those confused, but it's okay though. Uh, a gift that we're doing for one of our exchange students who we hosted from China at one time. So now he's, he was in junior high when we got him, and now he's a man. So he graduated from Berkeley, so we're making a test. So as you've seen earlier when I showed you guys, I was doing these tests. Now, I'm actually going to finally do it based on all the um, graphics I did. So I separated the two, so that way first I have both the engraving. And you can notice that the engraving here, I have 17 power, right? So I had to separate that from the text itself because I want the text to be a lot more deeper. And, but I don't want, I want the image to still be able to be seen, okay? So um, after doing that, I'm going to, hopefully after it's finished, I will show you the results and we'll go from there. So wish me luck. I'm putting it on a piece of, um, wood that's about a half inch and it's um basically it has bark on the sides of it and stuff like that then i'm going to go ahead and seal it with lacquer and whatnot so that way he could take it home with him it's going back to china so i'm going to be seeing him next week so let me go ahead and get this i hope this um becomes handy for some of you guys um so it's, it's pretty fun I'm, I'm getting the engraving there it's the hardest thing especially material behaves so um, so differently depending on what you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and do the old process thing and let's see how long it's going to take. I mean, if it only took me an inch square, about six minutes. Okay, so 48 minutes. So she's going to be a while burning. So I'll let you know what's going on in a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's get this bad boy started. All right. See you then. So she finished. She said the machine stopped. And yeah, I just hear the other one. So, hurrah. See how that looks. Oh, not too bad. I know the texture of the wood gives it that little line thing, but eh, that's not too bad. The faces came out pretty decent in the detail. So, I don't know if, if I would have put the lines closer, maybe I wouldn't have got so much. There, but I think that's pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and go from there. Cool. So I'm back and I finished up. So we'll go ahead and close this off. And so she came out pretty nice. Obviously, I just took her out of the machine. So you can probably see how that came out. So it's not too bad, it's kind of nice. Now I gotta seal it, um, remove some of the 
excess sound a little bit. Not too much. <laughs> Just enough for the lettering. So I think that was pretty nice. So uh, very easy. Um, the software is actually still very good. I like it. Every once in a while it kind of glitches, but eh, uh, nothing that I you know, can't close it, come back, and then everything's back to normal. So, so the Atkins, Atkinson's thing works really well. So something you should try at home. So if you're probably wondering what this is all saying, um, this means love. And then this down here, let me move this really quick. With this out of the way. That means our family, William Huey Juan Chu and Palisas. So anyway, so hopefully they'll like it. I got to buy a little stand for it. I was going to make it, but I'm, I'm out of time and I'd rather just go buy a, a nice one and I'll give it to him as a gift. So anyway, so I hope this um, helps some of you. I hope this is something that maybe some of you want to try and um, pretty much no nothing special about the material. I just bought it at um, at Michael's, you know, you know, just ordered it, came in. All right, anyway, so thanks for watching. You know, hit, click the like thingy, <laughs> and um, hope to see you guys soon again. Goodbye. All right, two finished gifts. It's a good thing. <laughs>